What is the obtuse angle between the hour and minute hand at 8.06 a.m.? It's one of these options. Let's see if you pick the right one. First, let's remind ourselves what do we mean by an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle between 90 and 180 degrees, which means we're finding this one. Firstly, let's start off with 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock would look like this. And 8 o'clock, if we look at the obtuse angle there, would be 180 de uh, 120 degrees because it's one third of a full circle. And a full circle is 360 degrees, which when we divide by three is 120 degrees. The next thing we need to work out is how much does the minute hand rotate when it gets to six minutes? Well, to do that, we're doing six minutes out of a total of 60 minutes. So six out of 60 is one tenth. So it's doing one tenth of a full circle and a full circle is 360 degrees. So when we divide by 10, it's 36 degrees. Now, with the eight o'clock, how many degrees does it move when this has moved six minutes? Well, it also will have moved one tenth, but the proportion is between eight and nine, not the full circle. So we need to work out how many angles or what's the angle between eight and nine. Well, that is one twelfth of a full circle. So full circle is 360 degrees. This gap is one out of 12. We're doing one out of 12 of 360. 36 divided by 12 is three, and then zero is 30 degrees. And then we have to do one tenth of that, okay? Because it's still one tenth of a full hour. So we divide that by 10, we get three degrees. So this moves 36 degrees clockwise, and this moves three degrees clockwise, which means the angle increases by 33 degrees. We subtract these because they're both going in the same direction. So this goes up by 33 degrees, which is 153, which means the answer is two. Nice. <laughs>